to everything flute. In this video, we are talking about the E flat scale. The E flat scale is going to build upon some of the ideas and fingerings we learned in the F scale video and the B flat scale video. So I will provide a link to those in the description box below if you want to view those. E flat scale has three flats, B flat, E flat, or knee flat is A flat. A flat is very similar to G. How we play G, reminder, is left hand on spatula, thumb on spatula, first finger, middle finger, ring finger, right hand, pinky, that's our G. To get to A flat, you get to use this really cool key right here with your pinky. So both pinkies are down for A flat. Definitely practice going between G and A flat to create that muscle memory. Also, since B flat is after A flat in the scale, I would really practice going between A flat and B flat, especially because there's four fingers moving at the same time and they're not going in the same direction. We have left hand, these three fingers are going up, while in your right hand, you have a finger going down. You wanna really make sure that it's nice and clean. It should sound like this. If you accidentally get another note in there, which I call a blurp, because you didn't mean to get it in there. If you get a blurp in there, it could sound like this, and it makes it sound not so clean. And that was caused because my right hand first finger didn't go down fast enough. So make sure you're just getting two notes in there. Now, another note we need to talk about is E flat. E flat actually has two different fingerings. One for the higher E flat that we know, which is doggy with tail down. And the lower E flat that we're now learning, it's just like that E flat with the first finger down in your left hand. If you're having trouble getting low E flat out, make sure that you're blowing very gentle and slow on the E flat. It's like having a hot beverage. If you're blowing on that hot beverage, you're gonna be, very, to cool it off, you're gonna be very, very soft with your air. You're gonna use more throaty air to blow and make sure that it, it cools off. If you blow too hard, then it might splash and it stings if you get hot liquid on you. So we wanna to try to avoid that. So that's how we play low E flat. If blowing softer is not helping, another thing you can try is starting on a note that you're comfortable with and then working your way down to that note. So why don't we start on B flat? We know B flat already. So B flat, I'm gonna go down to A flat, get some more practice on it. A flat to G. G to F. And F to E flat. Feel free to repeat that as many times as you want to. You want to feel comfortable on starting low E flat, nice and firm, because we're playing E flat scale and you gotta start with it nice and good. Let's go through the fingerings. So we have E flat, F, raise these fingers, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, higher E flat. Make sure this finger stays up for the higher E flat. Now going down, D, C, B flat, A flat, G, F, E flat. Really make sure that the higher E flat has this first finger up because if you leave it down, the note will actually still come out, but it won't sound as good as the fingering with it up. And that can create a really bad habit to, and really hard habit to break. 
So be very, very, very thoughtful in this process of low E flat, first finger down, high E flat, first finger up. Now the arpeggio, first, third, and fifth note. So we have E flat, G, B flat. And then we have the higher E flat. Let's finger through those. So we have low E flat, first finger down, G, B flat, higher E flat, remember this is up, B flat, G, E flat, low E flat, first finger down. You ready to play it? We're gonna go quarter notes at 60. One, two, ready, go. Let's just try it right now for fun, but remember, work your way up to it. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, ready, go. <laughs> going to pop up unless you subscribe and then it'll tell you, hey, we got a new video out. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.